everyone, this is Catherine's vlog, star date 1-26-2015. Had to think about that for a second. <laughs> anyway, this is my sweet Zach attack. He's my little brat cat. Uh, the purpose of this was because I got some goodies in the mail I wanted to show you and I wanted since I had it close at hand just to show you a couple of the goodies that I got for Christmas as well uh, I'll go ahead and show you those first one thing was it's a single it's an import I didn't have it in my collection I like to collect not only all their albums but all of their um, singles and I still have to get my hands on quite a few of their members CDs from years that I wasn't a member but this is one of them I got some of them have different covers depending on what country they were released in and so on and so forth and I'll show you some of those Oz books that I spoke about in my last video um, these are it, it says, like, founded on and continuing the famous Oz stories told by L. Frank Baum. And the author of these is Ruth Plumley Thompson. And this one's called The Gnome King of Oz. Which, if you've seen the movie Return to Oz with Feruza Balk, then you'll know a little bit about who the Gnome King is. He lives underneath Oz, underground. And there's this one, the giant horse of Oz. Which, this one involves the characters of Scarecrow, Trot, which is not a popular Oz character, but was in quite a few of the books. And this one is Jack Pumpkinhead of Oz, which also, if you've seen Return to Oz, he was a character taken from Baum's books and was in that movie. And this one has a new character named Peter. He's got Ozma and Jack Pumpkinhead. And the Hungry Tiger of Oz. And we've got Bet Betsy Bobbin. I recognize that character. Also has the Gnome King in this one. So they take a lot of the characters and the stories and they continue their stories and they're reoccurring. And some of them are just one time. And it's not all, in fact, a large majority is not all about Dorothy Gale. They talk about a lot of other characters too and I wanted to show you I got some items that I ordered offline I got them from Hot Topic and the reason I did that is I don't shop at Hot Topic a lot even though I love all the stuff they have in there is because of their prices and I just don't buy a lot of clothes and things like that. I love to. I love to go to thrift stores more than anything or even just Walmart. But I bought some gifts for Christmas for some friends and for my sister from Hot Topic and they had this, I guess it's something that they do all the time. When you spend $30 in the store you get $15 hot cash to spend the next month like there's a week in the next month that you can get $15 off of 30 and since I don't go out shopping much and it was redeemable online I said okay I'll go online and because $15 off of 30 sounds great then I'll just spend $15 which didn't end up exactly as I had hoped because of course there's always shipping so 
okay, it's not $15 anymore. There's another $7 in taxes and shipping on top of that. But I got this t-shirt, which I don't have any Sailor Moon t-shirts. And I love Sailor Moon. But even though I've been losing weight, I like it. I haven't been buying a lot of new clothes just because I want to lose more weight and it would be pointless to get a new wardrobe and have to go shopping again. But I still prefer roomy clothes, loose clothes, because they're more comfortable. That's how I've always been. I've always shopped like a size or two above what I am just so I can have the, the roominess and the more comfortable feeling. I know a lot of people say that if you wear bigger clothes, then it makes you look bigger, but I don't like tight, restricting clothes, especially at work, if I'm working and having to go up and down ladders and reaching up on shelves and climbing up and down on step stools and reaching up. I don't want, you know, anything to show just because it's really not appropriate for work and I'm just not... I'm, you know, I'm a modest kind of girl. But I also ordered, because I had to try to get it to $30, and the shirts are kind of pricey. This is $26.50 for a shirt. It's kind of astronomical, if you ask me, for a t-shirt. But I know it's, you know, specialized characters that you really can't find anywhere else, so it's going to be for the... you know, the rarity of it, it's going to be pricier. But I also got some jewelry just to get up to the $30 mark. And I got this Hunger Games Mockingjay. It's like one of the rubber bracelets. And I'll take this one out of the package. Sorry for the crinkling. Because I think we'll get to see what it looks like better if I take it out of the package. Pendant necklace, Edward Scissorhands. I love Johnny Depp. I love that movie, Edward Scissorhands. It's probably in my top three or four movies being like the whole Harry Potter series. I'll, I'll count that as one. Um, Wizard of Oz and Edward Scissorhands. I mean, all the Disney animated stuff is like wonderful in my book. And actually my favorite of all time movie, I will always say is the movie Hook with Robin Williams. I love Robin Williams. I still get sad when I think about the fact that he's gone. But that's that's my after Christmas spending my Hot Topic Hot Cash haul and some of my Christmas items that I got. Um, that's it for now. Um, I think I'm going to have some more to talk about soon. So there'll, there'll be a video pretty shortly here because I want to talk a little bit about the topic of the Etsy shop that's been looming and may or may not be in the near future but I'm going to make another video soon to discuss some of that. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye bye.